Hey what is up guys, it is poor Master Evan here and in this video I'm going to be recapping some of the news we got in the past two months for Skylanders Academy, meaning January and February. Now some of the main things I'm going to be covering in this video is the possibility that we won't, that we might not see a season 4 for Academy. Now I'll also be covering the Skylanders Academy Burger King toys as well as Wolfgang's new voice or voice actor. Now. Now let's get started. So first off, I'm going to be talking about Wolfgang's new voice actor. So they're going so Wolfgang's new voice actor will be the lead singer in Metallica. Now, I'm actually pretty intrigued by how Wolfgang is going to sound now. Because if you go back to Trap Team, well, well, well. Look who we have here. The Trap Losers. And his voice was like an Australian rocker. And then they tried to attempt that in Academy. Yeah, right, man. Sometimes I slay myself. Now, come on. And I just didn't think it worked that well. Now, that's just in my opinion. But I'm really intrigued to see how different Wolfgang's voice will be now that they're having a Metallica rock star doing the voice of Wolfgang. Now, you can tell that um, he will be doing the voice of Wolfgang because one, the script says Skyliners Academy. Season 3, Episode 6, Wolfgang Script. Now, it also says on this Instagram post, James, hard at work voicing the Skyliners character of Wolfgang. So, that pretty much confirms that he will be doing the voice of Wolfgang. Now, I'm really excited to see how it'll be, and I hope you guys are too, so make sure to comment down below if you're excited for a new voice of Wolfgang or not. So now onto the possibility of there might not be a season 4 of Skylanders Academy. Now I say possibly because we don't have a full confirmation if there will be one or not at this time. But if there will be a season 4 I will gladly watch it. I enjoyed season 1 and 2 and I'm definitely going to enjoy season 3. Now the main writer for Skylanders Academy, Eric Rogers, was recently asked about the development and how Sky. Landers Academy Season 3 was doing in general. Now he had replied by saying, I'm not sure I've been working on a new series the past few months. So that means that he mainly writes the show and other than that he doesn't really know the whole development through the characters and everything like that. Now he then later tweeted saying, Hey everyone, Season 3 is a done deal. We'll premiere later this year, meaning probably around the same time as Season 1 and 2 around like fall. Now he said, not sure about season 4, animation takes a long time, which it does. And he said, which is why I'm on a new show, I obviously still suck at Crash Bandicoot. Okay, thanks for watching. So season 3 is completely wrapped up, which is awesome. Now he said not sure about season 4, so there is a possibility we might see season 4. But we can't tell right now because there's no confirmation, like I said. And animation does take a long time, so who knows. If we get a season 4 and we do get a confirmation and we don't get it next year, maybe we'll have to wait even longer if they want to expand the story even more. Now, I'm really intrigued by this because of the fact that I love Skylanders Academy and my little brother does too. Now, I'm really excited for season 3 to come out. And I want to see how the story works. Maybe they'll cliffhanger season 3 and then we'll have to wait a year for season 4 if there is a season 4. But it really intrigues me. Uh, also comment down below what you guys think. Do you want to see season 4? Or do you want the series to end at season 3? Now I know most of you probably won't want it to end at season 3. And I surely don't want to either because I would like to see a lot of other characters as well and see them expand on the story. Now what you've all been waiting for, the Skylanders Academy Burger King toys. Now there is going to be four of them to collect. As you can tell, there's Stealth Elf, that's our first Stealth Elf, like Happy Meal toy, I guess Burger King Happy Meal toy now, since the Skylander toys are transferred over to Burger King. I don't know if that's just for Academy, or if that's what it's gonna be from now on, if we get more games and stuff like that. Now we also get another Chaos, now this one is more accurate to his design in Skylanders Academy. And he's got blue hands, which I'll get more in depth with in a little bit. And then we also have Eruptor. Now I like this Eruptor a lot more 
than the Eruptor we got back in Swap Force from McDonald's. I mean, that one lit up and stuff, and that was cool, but I just think this is more accurate to the show, and I just really like the design because it looks like a regular action figure in a way. Uh, now, what do I say about the Spyro one? It, it's practically just like its counterpart from the 2012-2013 McDonald's toys when they first started it, that Spyro figure where he was like standing on his all fours with his wings out and stuff and he had the Dragon Ball flick fire missile type of thing in his mouth that you had, like clicked I think a spine on his back and then it shot out. It's practically the same gimmick except with this one, you just like pull something back on his back and then it fires. Now that one's probably the, my, the least interesting one to me. Now thank you to my good friend Jap28 for allowing me to show some of his clips from his videos because he has reviewed three of the four Burger King toys so far. He's already got three of them at, as the time of this recording. So right now I'm going to be showing you guys a clip of Stealth Elf. Now, as you can tell, Stealth Elf is pretty much just a, um, like a spinner toy. So it's like mainly Stealth Elf and then you put her onto this little blue kind of like top base and then you just kind of like have to be delicate with spinning it as you can tell like Jap tried it and it like tipped over. But I just have to say like even without Stealth Elf's mask on, this is a very good figure. Like I mean you don't even have to have it as a Burger King toy or anything. It's like a pretty nice action figure even though it doesn't have really that much posability. Now next up we have Eruptor. Now as you can tell in this picture right here before I show you the clip, or you can see the comparison from the Spyro, not the Spyros, the Skylander Swap Force version that they released to the Academy version. Now you can tell the size difference is drastically different. Now with the Swap Force version, that one you click the button on his back and he lit up and stuff. Now with this one, as you can tell, it's there's like a little lever on the back of him that you flick up and down and his eyes will roll because I guess his eyes are connected to um, his arms, like it's like one big piece, so when you move it, he moves up when he gets angry. Now one thing I think Burger King could have done to make this a little better may have been making it where maybe his hands glowed because it looks translucent. Like that would have been cool if like when you flick it on and you like pull it up and he gets angry, then his hands turn like an orangish yellow color. Like that would have been a really cool effect that they could have done, but they didn't do that. And that's kind of disappointing, but it's still an awesome figure, figure slash character. Now the last one we have is Chaos. Now this one is kind of the same as um, Eruptor. It's practically the same type of deal except for the eyes not moving. It has the same type of lever on the back and you move it and his hands move up and down. Now his hands are translucent blue and I have to agree with Jeff as you can tell in the clip that it should have been where when you move it his hands glow. Like the one we got for Giants slash Spires Adventure in 2012-2013, that one was you click the button and then it switched his emotion like his face. This one, they could have done so much better by putting maybe like a little switch on the back where when you move the lever after you turn the switch on, that his hands would turn translucent blue, kind of giving that effect that he had in the show when he used his magic. Now, I think they are really cool toys, and I can't pick them up now because I'm halfway across the world in Malaysia, but if I can't pick them up, I'll definitely try and get them later on sometime at some point. But I think they're really cool. They have a lot of detail on them, a lot more detail than the McDonald's ones in my opinion, but let me know in the comments what you guys think about these, if you guys are excited for more maybe Burger King toys or if you want the Happy Meal toys back, but also make sure to comment on what you think of Wolfgang's new voice, but and also what you think about season 4. I would really like to hear from you guys. I will be doing a lot more Skylander videos soon. It's kind of hard because we don't have that much news or anything like that. But I'll try to do some more soon. But that's pretty much it guys. So thank you guys for watching my video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Master Evan. Peace out guys.